Hey everybody, it's Prue here from Suds and Satin. Again, I came right back. I just made a soap. And as I told you, I have lots of soap that I really need to make. I'm really not feeling that well, but I need to try and get these soaps done because I will not be able to do them, do these soaps in the next coming weeks. So, I have to get it done now. Alright, so let me tell you about this soap I'm getting ready to make. This is my Satin Suds. It's called Satin Suds. I love this soap. It's um, It started way back when I first started making soap about 11 years ago. I started by making a satin body cream. And it smells so good, I said I have to make a soap to match it. Um, it's basically a vanilla fragrance, but I threw a couple of other things in there. And I just love the way it smells, so I wanted to make a soap. So I made the soap the first time, and after it cured, I used it, and I said, Wow, this doesn't smell like the body cream. What's going on? Figured I did something wrong. I said, Let me try again. So I made another batch. I was really careful. I made sure it cured a full month, and again, it did not smell right. So I said, You know what? It, this doesn't, it's not worth it to me. Why bother making this soap if it's not going to smell as good as the body cream? So I stopped making it altogether. <laughs> And this was when I was only doing cold process soap. That's all I knew. So fast forward a few years, which is like two or three years ago when I first started learning about hot process soap. And I heard that um, hot process retains fragrance much better. So I said, you know what, let me go back to my satin suds and see what happens. So lo and behold, I made it hot process and the fragrance stuck and I love it again. So that's what I'm doing today, satin suds. Right, here we go. My oils are all mixed up. This is my mixture of coconut milk, kale and clay, and aloe vera gel. Give this a quick buzz and then put it in there and buzz it. You see, uh, when you're not feeling well, you really shouldn't soap. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Okay, so let me put this in here before I put my life solution in. And I'll be hot processing this soap in the oven. Okay, let me buzz this up. And all of this is very hot. I just mixed up this lye, just melted these oils, but it doesn't really matter. pause you because I like to uh, mix it to thick trace before I put it in the oven. Okay, well it's had a medium trace. It's not a thick trace yet, but um, I'm trying to hurry this along. As I said, I'm not feeling too good and I have another soap to make that I'm probably not going to even film. I'm just going to quickly get through it. So I'm going to pop this in the oven and then I'll bring you back. 
Okay, it's been in the oven 10 minutes and it's done absolutely nothing, as you can see. So, I only have it on warm, so I'm going to turn it up to 200 and see what happens in the next 10 minutes. I'll bring you back. Okay, so I turned my oven up just a smidge and put it in for another 10 minutes. And as, boy, did I catch it. I just <laughs> brought the pot over here and lifted up the lid and surprise. So, I think I better stir it down before I put it back in there. Yeah. Wow. Almost done. I say another 10 minutes and it'll be done. Wow. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna oop. I'm gonna put it back in for ten minutes and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so it's been a half hour total and this is what it's looking like. Uh, I don't think it's completely done yet. Normally by this time it is, but this um, batch is a little bit bigger than the batches I normally make, so maybe that's making a difference. I don't know. But I'm going to give it 10 more minutes in the oven, and then I should be good. Right now it's not looking totally gelled to me. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, so it's been a total of about 40-45 minutes altogether, and I think it's done. I think it's not going to look as completely gel Vaseline-ish because of the white kale and clay that's inside of it, but, but it's, it's done. So, ouch. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention about the difference between now that I'm hot processing it, when I was cold processing it, all the soapers out there know that vanilla makes your soap turn brown. Well, when I was cold processing it, this soap was black and looked like a, a candy bar, a dark chocolate candy bar. Um, which is fine if that's the look you're going for, but it wasn't. So, now that I'm hot processing it, it still turns brown, but um, just brown, not black. So that's another difference. Anyway, so it's done, but it's piping hot, so I'm thinking I better let it cool down just a little bit before I add my super fats and the fragrance so once again I'll bring you back okay well I only let it cool down for a, a few minutes because one I'm impatient and two I, I hate those crusties that hot process gets if it gets too cool so I'm gonna put my this is my super fat my and my um my fragrance oil oh boy I love how this This is a great bar of soap. It's between the aloe gel that's in it, the kale and clay, uh, super fatted with jojoba oil. It's a great bar of soap. And it smells good. Uh-oh, somebody's baby is outside crying. It's too late for all that one, but that's how it is when you live in the city. It's like after midnight and I'm up soaping. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I have one more to go, but I'm not going to film that one. Okay, I'm tired of this thing. 
staring. It's very good. Let me pause you because I know you're bored with all this staring. Okay, I'm going to get this in the mold. Oh, yeah. So as I was saying before, I'm going to be laid up for a couple of weeks and I'll be enjoying YouTube. Hopefully some of my favorite soapers are going to put out some new videos for me to watch while I'm recovering. That would be great. Hint, hint. Iris at Divine Lights. And Kenny the Messy Soaper at Royal, ouch, Royal Appleberry Soap. Uh, I watch so many soapers. I'm, I'm, I subscribe to about 20 different soaping channels. But I have a few favorites that I watch all the time. I love Jen at a n n Suds and Such and Be Scented Fragrance Oil Supply. I love Kim at Nature's Art. Nicole at Stargazer Soaps. It's a bunch of them. So... I'm hoping they will keep me entertained in my recovery. If not, I'll just rewatch old ones. I don't care. This is a lot of soap. I thought, see, this is a six pound mold, and I. This is five pounds of oils that I made. Oh well. Whatever. There'll be some big bars. Ooh. Oh gosh, I'm just. So messy today. Alright. Yeah, these are going to be some big bars of soap. This is ridiculous. Oh boy. I'm going to have to probably shave off some from the top but just to use as um, samples because this is, is going to be too tall. I'm just going to have to cut them skinnier. I don't know. Let me bang it down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully that's good enough. Because it's heavy and I don't feel like any more banging. Looks kind of lopsided though. I can fix that. <sighs> okay, I'm back to cut this last log of soap this weekend. And let me start by offering a hundred thousand apologies. I am so sorry. When I was making this soap, my satin sud soap, um, my camera ran out of memory and I didn't even know it until it was too late. By the time when I, when I finished and I went to look back at the video, that's when I realized that the whole thing didn't record. But it was only about a minute or two that was missed anyway. So I'm so, so sorry about that, you guys. Sorry. And while I'm offering apologies, let me also offer my gratitude. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. I got some new subscribers this week. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the old ones as well. And while I'm at it, let me um, invite you to like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Suds and Satin, S-U-D-S-N-S-A-T-I-N. Uh, that's where I, you know, post any specials that I might be having or anything. So, again, thank you. I'm so sorry. So, let, let me get this thing cut. Oh, my God. All right, so this was my hot process, oven process, satin suds. So, it's not a very pretty soap, as most hot process soap is ugly. Well, some people know how to make it look really nice, but not me. I just do your basic, make the soap. 
and it's going to get dark as you can see around the edges it's a little bit darker but it's going to get you know even darker than what you see around the edges right now but it smells so so good and these bars came out bigger than I a little bit a little bit bigger than I expected them to one more okay there you have it my satin suds again I'm so sorry about the the making of the soap shutting down too quickly again thank you for watching see you on the next video